walks around like he owns the world. He wants to intimidate not just fighters. He wants to intimidate people in general. And that name, Marlos de Piedro, is, is true. Hands of stone. Every punch, and I'm not exaggerating, every punch that he hit me with, from the body to the head, felt like bricks, stone, rocks. The midway point of round two, and Leonard starting to push that jab in there, but he gets rocked by a left hook from Duran. He knocked my teeth back, my front, my first three, four teeth in front, knocked them back, because he was just so... bigger than Roberto. You know, his fist, his fist is two and a half inches larger a, than Duran's, than Palomino's, stone than a, stone hands. They call Duran stone hands, and Palomino's fists are actually two and a half inches larger. But he's fighting probably pound for pound, the roughest fighter in the ring today. All right, let's go up to Bill Merriman. At the bell for round one. Duran in the dark trunks, Palomino in the white. The scoring is on the 10-point must system, which is a departure here in New York State, which usually goes on the round system. But these fights, uh, they, this fight and the heavyweight championship fight are being fought under the aegis of the World Boxing Council, and they are using their rules. The mandatory eight count is in effect, but the three knockdown rule has been waived. Palomino shaken a little bit by that left hand of Duran. Duran pressing the action looking as though he's after a quick knockout. Both young men can fire hard, short punches. They don't need a lot of punching room. Both of them are savage body punches, and Palomino particularly likes to go to the body early in the fight. And Duran is leaving the body wide open at the moment, as is Palomino, both keeping the gloves up fairly high. Duran has him cornered, and that's dangerous. Palomino takes the play away on the inside. Palomino opens up. Right now, this is a test of their strength in there. Yeah, they're just touching each other, feeling each other. They'll explode soon. Big punch by Duran, but Palomino took it well. Palomino seems a little the more calculating of the two here, with less than a minute to go. He had to be shaken by those blows. Palomino, even after taking him, actually forces Duran across the ring. Big punches by the ex-lightweight champion. 12 seconds to go in the round. Now it's becoming a big round for Pallet for Duran. Former welterweight champion Palomino, former lightweight champion Duran, round two. The first round went about as we expected. Palomino did start slowly. Duran did try to get to him. Palomino won't quit. One thing, one thing that should be pointed out is that Duran is a, a very resourceful fighter now. He's not the wild kid that he was five or six years ago. Uh, You're absolutely right. He doesn't right, expose his chin needlessly. No, and he's doing a lot of fainting in this fight. A little wild he's over taken. the head. Palomino really hasn't opened up because... He has not had a chance. Duran has taken the play away from him all the way. And Arthur McCanty, one of our better officials, gets him apart. Carlos doesn't know quite what to do with him yet. Far, we're in round two. Scheduled for 10. 
Dino holding Duran against the ropes with honors about even on the inside. Now it's Duran taking the play away again. Palomino lets go to, to unleash a barrage, but Duran beat him to the punch and beats him again. With left hook. Question is, will Duran punch himself out? Or punches Carlos Palomino out. 25 seconds left to go in the round. A big round for Duran. Palomino stays on top, but takes the battering hard. Palomino's in trouble. He's holding on, but he can't tie up Duran for too long. The bell. Palomino had Duran with his back to the ropes, and Duran was dominating Palomino. Now he is capable of handling someone of this size. Well, he'd better. Another round or two like that, he'll have too far to come back. It's time for him. The right cheekbone of Palomino seems a little bit puffed. an attack and he is such a good fighter. Duran has not let him. Duran bobbing and weaving. That left hook, that left hook of Duran has landed again and again. Palomino seems to have no defense for it. Roberto seems to have a little too much speed so far for Carlos. Duran is smiling. He's, he's actually laughing at Palomino. The young man loves to fight. For just, just a moment, that's all. As we see, Palomino takes a good punch. This is a fight between a great, great small man against a good bigger man and right now the great great small man is dominating the bigger man he's a true professional again beating Palomino to the punch unless Palomino can change the course of this fight he most certainly will be knocked out punched by Duran after he mixes the left hook. It's a good right hand punch by Carlos. But it's Former heavyweight home. champion Floyd Patterson. Round four. Duran in the dark trunks. Palomino in the white. Palomino looks as though he's going to try to do something now. Straight right hand partially blocked. What you're seeing here now in Palomino is that he really is a thoroughbred. He's taking some good whacks against a great fighter. He's now walking at him. He's, uh, he's still trying to analyze. He's still trying to get to him. Palomino's not running away by any means. Duran has gone to smiling again. Quick left hook that time. on the inside. Punches are not as spectacular, but they are there. This is a uh, real, real good fight. Palomino looks none the worse for wear right now. Still got that good jab. He's not been able to mount a good combination, however. Good counter punch by Palomino. 
thing he's managed to do, Don uh, Duran, is frustrate Palomino's body attack. Palomino generally wears his opponents down with a vicious body attack in the early rounds. He really hasn't been very effective to the body. He just with a vicious left hook while you were talking, Larry. Palomino did. But now he's trying to go to the body. There's the back. There he goes. To, uh, Roberto Duran, Ray, the veteran trainer. Around years and years, maybe 50 of them. With that jab now. Something he couldn't do earlier. Solid shot by Roberto. This is what I thought would happen right now. Notice how Duran keeps that right hand around his ears. He's protecting himself against the left hook, and he's got it. Right from the very beginning, Duran kept Palomino from mounting any kind of a minute to go in the round. That was a terrific, good left hand punches. to the heart by, by Duran. Palomino countered well. Post miss. There's been no knockdowns in the fight. Big shot. Well, that was his best shot. He's riding some of those punches that hit him in the head. Now the crowd is now ordering Duran to knock his opponent out. I wonder if Alamino regrets taking the fight. Left hand by Good right hand. Well, it doesn't make Roberto smile. A good rally by Palomino. It's first. There's the bell. If the fight is going to turn, if the tide is going to turn at all, it will have to right in this round. Turned all right. A vicious right hand punch to the jaw. The mandatory eight count told by. Even down timekeeper Billy Graham. We have two minutes and 37 seconds left in the round. That vicious right hand shot to the jaw sent Palomino to the canvas. And Carlos has never been knocked out, by the way. A record that could go by. Palomino had it in his mind to turn the tide, and he walked right into that right hand. This is the second time Carlos has ever been down. Duran fighting hard inside, trying for the knockout. He kept plenty of time on the round, over two minutes. Alamino's ear. ear. Behind Durant his ear. Left yeah. ear. Be either behind or in the ear. We can't tell you. He's not bothering his attack any. Terrific punch. I don't know any other welterweight who could stand up under those punches by Duran. He's hurt. More and than he's a still in there. The round. There's he coming back. Palomino comes back surprisingly with some of his best shots of the night. Never count a Mexican fighter out. Sometimes you have to hit him real hard just to wake him up. Well, he got re hit real hard, Ryan. Yeah. He's still fighting. He has taken the play oh, away. That's from what Durant. it takes. Palomino is up because he's been hit. He should have stayed in close. He was doing better. Down. Carlos Palomino, who was down in the opening second, somehow has managed to survive. Seems to me that Palomino may have a very slight cut somewhere around the right eye. He does. It's beginning to show. I don't think it's dangerous at this point. But along the right eye, there's a cut. Only 10 seconds to go in the round. Remember, a man roared out or near the ring. Oh, Palomino, Palomino, at the bell. <laughs> there it is. Let's take a look at the end of that round. Uh, there's the, there's the knockdown first. That's right in the beginning. A left followed by a straight right in the opening seconds of the round. Did you notice that Duran 
handlers had it not even gotten out of the ring yet when that landed. <laughs> Round seven. And Palomino, he's so far behind on points. About at or near the ringing of the bell ending around. He must arise by the count of ten, even though the bell is sounded or be counted out. Palomino's left eye is beginning to swell. See how they eye each other? Concentration. Every so often, Palomino comes battling back. A gutsy fighter. Good left touch. Makes the ram smile. Makes him laugh. Above our HBO cameras. Palomino beating Durant of the punch for a change. And now working the body. Palomino still has firepower, even though he has taken a lathering. That's right, Palomino is ahead in the round at this stage. And that may change. fighters can do that. Now the eye is cut. Palomino has a bad cut, I believe, now over his right eye. Ram knows it, too. Now there's a danger that this fight could be stopped on a TKO, because it doesn't look like a right eye is a fight to stop. very puffed. There's a right, right hand right by Palomino. Right Duran, who as it says, successfully defended the world lightweight title 12 times. I wonder if the two welterweight champions of the world are watching Roberto Duran tonight because he's certainly ready for either of them. Very unhappy. Let's look at a replay here. There's Duran coming upstairs with a terrific shot to the, to the body. Another one to the left side and then a right hand that was a little high and behind but still was damaging enough to drive Palomino back. He hurts you wherever he hits you. The smile hurts. <laughs> Round eight. Three rounds to go. He's too quick tonight. One knockdown in the fight so far. Duran knocked Palomino down in the opening seconds of the sixth round. So Duran has proven to everybody's satisfaction that he can take a well away punch. And he just took two or three to fight right back off to Roberto Duran. He has made me a believer. Look at the uppercut. And Duran comes firing back. You know you don't know about fights. You're seeing something that's rare. Even though Duran is dominating the fight, you're seeing action here. And in Duran's uh, quest for a knockout, he may leave himself wide open and suffer a damaging blow himself because he's coming in wide open now. Trying for the knockout. Palomino holding him against the rope. And digging the body. Liebling would have loved the way Duran loved combat. Oh. Good play hand by Duran. Labeling was a great writer who loved to write about boxing. Sweet science, he called it, and uh, it doesn't get any sweeter than this. Oh! I don't know what helped Duran Palomino again. up that time. He put his shoulder and his hip oh, and his toes on into that one. that one, and still Palomino took it. Wow. I don't think there's a lightweight in the world that could have stood up to that oh, fight. They would have been counted out. Half a minute to go in round eight. Palomino... Has to think about his punches now. They're not coming automatically. Duran's are. Excellent see those, fight. See those quick hands of Palomino. Yeah. Just when you think he's hurt. It's incredible after taking a punch like that that he can come back in the last 15 seconds. It's incredible as we take another look at what he dishes out to Carlos Palomino. Let me tell you that starting Thursday, July 12th, here on. Round nine of a ten-rounder. That's almost a miracle for Palomino to win this fight. 
supposed to be a miracle, maybe, if he doesn't get knocked out. Yeah, he looks a little raggedy. But you never, never can tell. Duran is hitting him as Sunday punches now. Roberto Duran, who many think right now, pound for pound, is the best fighter in boxing. That's what they used to say about Sugar Ray Robinson. The comparisons will be coming. I'm sure they're both watching. <laughs> doing a splendid job as the third man. Look at that quick right hand. And here he comes back. Amazing. Now, Duran is just too much at this point. However, it is not as one-sided as it would call for stopping the fight. Oh, no. But every so often, Palomino comes roaring back with some good shots. Like there. Palomino a little gun shy, and I don't know. The battle of survival for the brilliant young Mexican-American, Palomino. The question is, will he, with a big 10th round ahead? Duran is making a lot of believers tonight. The bell ending round nine, the referee goes over and takes a look at Palomino. I'm going to ask Arthur how he looked in there. Arthur! Arthur! How does Palomino look? How does Palomino look? He does look fresh. Thank you, Arthur. You are familiar with the welterweight picture. Uh, the winner of this fight can get a shot at Wilfredo Benitez, who's the WBC champion, after Benitez presumably will fight Sugar Ray Leonard next December. Or he can fight Pepino Cuevas, the WBA champion. Uh, Duran has indicated that he preferred to fight Cuevas. Perhaps because uh, he might have difficulty getting Benitez in the ring. This round 10. For those of you expecting to see our regular HBO program, we've interrupted our normal schedule to bring you this exciting night of professional boxing from Madison Square Garden in New York. The tenth and final round, Roberto Duran, former lightweight champion, making a very auspicious debut in the welterweight ranks against his top contender, although he's won other bouts. He's won four bouts against Wallowage, but this is the toughest man he's met. Number one contender, Carlos Palomino, who I'm sure will no longer be the number one contender in another couple of minutes. He's not freezing the ball, you mean. Exactly. I'll tell you, he gives you three minutes of action every round. Two minutes left in the fight, just two. It's all Duran. If he lost one round, he only lost one. Maybe the uh, seventh round. He had Palomino down in the sixth, but couldn't keep him down. A tribute to uh, Palomino's heart. Duran laughing. Oh. Drowning. What you saw there was the street kid in him coming out and taunting a beaten opponent. There's no mercy show no, here. Less than half a minute to go in the round as Palomino fights back. The crowd urging him on to the knockout. He's got one minute to do it. Cornered again in a neutral corner, in our corner, as a matter of fact. Took another hard right hand. A long 40 seconds to go in the fight. That's a long time when you run against Roberto Duran of Panama. Tremendous 
fight, although a one-sided one. However, it did have its moment for Palomino fought by Cambridge. It's almost over. There it is. Great fight. With Nesta Quinones. He gets Carlos Palomino. He knows he was in the ring. Bill Merriman, the ring announcer, is collecting the slips. All right, we'll try to get to Carlos Palomino before the verdict is announced. Carlos, what are your feelings about the fight? Oh, as you can see, uh, I just, you know, I, I'm not, it's not what I used to be. You know, I, I don't have that, that hard drive at the end. Uh, he was very strong and he was very quick, which surprised me. I didn't expect that much quickness after he had put on that much weight. But, you know, that's the way boxing is. You know, uh, for some, there's others. And uh, I had a great career, and uh, I have to believe that this might be it. Judge Harold Irvin Rosen, 